right, so here's your number one featherweight contender. He got through a murderer's row to set up this shot at the title, and he knows this may not come around again. He's trying to make the most of it here tonight and head back home, the newly minted UFC featherweight champion of the world. The, the, the winning streaks that you have to have in order to get a featherweight championship opportunity is so great that when you get here, you have to make sure you're ready. This young man is ready. He's prepared mentally. He's prepared physically to go out there and try to become a champion. He told us time and time again, I'm the next Max Holloway. Let's see if he can get it done. It is so hard to get to this spot at 45, 55, 70. He has done it. Now the question beckons, is he good enough to dethrone the champ? So here he is, they call him T-City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, D. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Brian T. City Ortega. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Well, who would have thought five years ago in a straight kickboxing match that Brian T. City Ortega could hang, if not beat, most of the best featherweights in the world? Certainly in our fighter meeting this week, he talked a lot about striking, but if this fight does hit the canvas, decided advantage, of course, to T. City. Well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that relationship between Brian Ortega and James Lurson is as strong as a coach-fighter relationship as we have in MMA. Nice job in the boxing round by Ortega here tonight. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. That's exactly what we expect. Big right hand. Beautiful. Ortega is trying to lock up on a submission now. That guillotine is tight. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition. A side mount as he captures the beat. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Ortega's in half guard now. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Good work from the top here by Ortega. Making all these shots count. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top 
has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, he's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the finish. Oh, now it's getting tight. As well, oh, he, he got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Beautiful transition. Side control now. In the half guard. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Ortega is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? The half. Round two straight ahead. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking. But tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling. And they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep. But wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division, yet he hasn't attempted a single takedown. Has not even. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot, lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Just missed with the left there. with the right hook. He's looking for that left hand. Nothing. Now is when we will really see Brian Ortega shine. This is a guy you gotta be so careful with in all the transitions of the ground. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Ortega's back in half court. Now he's going full mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Might be a submission attempt here, Chief. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight? Just one attempt after the next. Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. He's trying to respect the full guard, though. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, good defense. Yes. 
Ortega getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm Where just saying. That? He's got a big mouth. Round <laughs> <laughs> three of a possible five. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Trying the flying knee there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh, nice level jab. Ortega's going for the sub here. He's got the sub locked in. to get sub. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Get the ball here. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He needs to work on his position. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Lands with the ground and pound. Dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar. Just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission. But those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Ortega's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Nice shots landing from the top position. 
being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Strong reversal there. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Or take his back in half guard. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Well, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Ortega's in half guard. Nicely done. He's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beat. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Ortega's in half guard. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's having his way with him here. Ten seconds to go in round four. Pretty accurate right. there from bottom stop, position. Stop, stop. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great Dude. round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice jab by Ortega. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Straight right, he misses. Nice crack there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Ortega's in there fighting calm, staying collected in the face of a very tough fight right now. Under three minutes to decide this one. Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. There it is, now he's going to mount. as he looks 
to improve position here. Mm. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He's got to start throwing down. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Take his back in full now. You can work on setting shot. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Now drops inside that closed guard. Back and forth action right until the fight horn. That one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. We play the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Brian T. City. Ortega! Well, he wasn't much for words during fight week. He just kept saying, and still, and that's exactly how it goes down tonight. Congratulations to the UFC featherweight champion of the world. Starting to close that.